All right, what's up, my people? Welcome back, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, all right, my people. As you can see, you now today I'm making some pumpkin fish soup, right? And you can see my, my ghost pepper already boiled it in the soup so in this cold winter yeah it's a good thing so this is my pumpkin fish soup with a lot of ground provision then as you can see a lot of ground provision which is you know Banana, sweet potato, cocoa, and uh, carrot, cucumber, you know, you have sweet pepper, the whole things in this. Then I'm gonna put some, this is some basil, you know, some basil for my soup. That in. And then I'm gonna make some cornmeal dumpling. Yeah. And I'm gonna put in some of my coconut in it. Saying um, no preservative. Okay. I like to use this coconut. Then okay. instead of the one in the can. So I'm gonna put a piece of this inside my soup. Once I put it in this pumpkin soup, right? once I put it in this pumpkin soup, it will change the color of that soup. Then my people saw. Before anything else, let this go and do its thing for a minute. So I gotta put this in and then knead that cornmeal dumpling. So, Just a piece. Put the whole thing, it'll be too much. Right, my people, see? Check out my pumpkin too, man. See? First thing you do, put the pumpkin in, season up the water. Put some thyme, pepper, garlic, you know, some some herbs and spice. And make that pumpkin boil right out, right? You have to make it boil out. Same with people, so that's boiling out, you know what I'm saying? So while it's doing this thing, I will. Make some dumpling. Some cornmeal dumpling. But first, wash your hand out because I was peeling the food, right? So you want to be clean. Some, a little bit more water in this so 
it doesn't boil down. I want it to boil. I want the pumpkin to dissolve a hundred percent. All right, my people. So the flour is going to be needed. It's going to go in before the food, right? Because the flour and cornmeal will take a little bit of time to cook properly, right? They're putting the food. The food is going to just boil out, right? So it, you know you have to put the flour in first. Once right? you got to make this, put it in. Once you do that, give it about 15, 20 minutes. Then you can put in the food. Then that's how it works in, in the cooking world. Ah, if you want, you can put in the flour last. That's what happened. You won't end up good. So, so now, people. All I need now is water. Right, so, flour and cornmeal, right? Cornmeal dumpling. So, I'm going to cover this part back for now. All right, people, watch this. See, making my caramel dumpling. Yeah? Make sure you guys can see. See, making my caramel dumpling, right? That is it. See? That's my caramel dumpling, people. As you can see, see? This is my caramel dumpling right here. So now I'm going to put it in. All right, people. So now, time to put in my dumpling in the pot. Look at this. So the cornmeal boil out. The, the pumpkin, so the pumpkin boil out. Look at that. This is a pumpkin fish soup. Not fish tea. If it was fish tea, it would be just pumpkin and fish, 
No food, all the food have to boil out for it to be tea. But it's gonna be food in it, so it's not, it's fish soup. Otherwise, you have two names. You have sip, which right now as it is, this would consider a sip. Okay, there's no food in it yet. The pumpkin that I put in, boil out, so it considers a sip right now. But when I done putting all the food, it's not a sip no more, it's a soup. All right, my people, let's start to put in some flour. 90% of this is going to be spinners. Hmm? Just lots of spinners I'm going to put in it, really. You know, I like spinners, you know. I'm just stretching it. some spinners first. See? Spinners. Spin it. And there you go. That's why you call it spinners. Spin it. There you go. Spin it. There you go. That's it my people. And you just have to be careful because when you drop it it splash. Okay. Making my pumpkin soup. My pumpkin fish soup with coconut milk. It's the coconut milk that brings the color up, you know. You know, because the coconut make white. So it brings the pumpkin color even higher than it, so it would be. Spin it, spin it off. See that? Spin it, spin it off. Spin it, spin it off. This is how you do it, my people. Pumpkin soup. I mean, pumpkin fish soup. Yep. Half of this making spinners already. Hmm? That's what I'm talking about. Spinners. Then we're gonna make some small dumplings. I don't want them too big. Right? So I want them this big. Small. That's how small I want them.
that my people. There it is. So as small as it is, what we need to start to cook is going to be swell up. Okay. So as small it was, you know, so when it's small, it still come up, it still rise. And I didn't, there's no baking powder in this. You only put baking powder when you're going to fry it. When you're cooking it, you don't need baking powder in it. No, use the resin spinners. See the last piece, jump out of my hand, drop right in the pot. So I didn't get to spin it out. So it's going to be round. All right, my people, so that's it. That part, right? Spoon. All right. So, even the pepper boil right out, really. Take it is, try to get thick. There's the coconut and the flour cause it to get thick, right? The coconut and the flour, you know, give it that, you know, tighten it up the soup. So it will get thick. But we don't want it to thick, we need it soupy. You know, it's not a thick soup. All right, my people, so while doing that, let me do this. Now, I gotta get my, prawn, my ground provision ready, which is, see? After all, this is not being banana, this is planting. You know, you can tell by the color of it. It have a pinkish color. Banana, banana of a whitish color. Clean up my uh, my ground provision. These 
these are the peelings from all the food. Yeah, all right. So, all right, done. You know when dumpling cook, um, almost cook, it start to float. All right, my people. So now for my ground provision. I'm gonna put some celery in it too, right? But I'm just taking the strings out. You know, celery carries string. Especially if these have some of them celery um, overgrown. And I'm still putting it in the supermarket. So what I do, I peel them off.
very happy with it. No. Put in my ground provision. Right. We'll just pour it in, splash all over the place. Irish potato, carrot, celery, sweet potato, yeah. then you have sweet bell pepper, and um, cucumber. Right? So now, it just goes from sip to soup. Now it's soup because food is in it. Rinse that back out because there's only food in it, so don't make sense dirty up too much things. See my people? All right. Everything is garlic, scallion, thyme, right? As you can see, that's the thyme right there. No, that's thyme. But the scallion, onion, boil out. And then when this reach about 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna put some soup, some, some soup base in it. So, one minute people, so that go it. See? So that's fish spice, right? You guys can see that, right? No? This is fish spice, so it's a pumpkin fish soup. I'm going to put some basil and uh, actually this is parsley and this is basil. Yes. Parsley, basil. Nice. That's it. All right, my people. That is it. People. This is good. Yeah. No, you know, as every cook has to do, I have to do the hardest part of the job. I gotta taste it. Yes, yes. You guys must wonder why I'm blowing it. I want it to be cold. So when it's hot, I only get one taste out of it. But when it's cold, you get everything that you put in where you're looking for the thyme, scallion, onion, habanero pepper, the seasoning, you know, everything, the garlic. You get it when it's cold.
Yeah. Yeah, people. It's all right. Come in. It's nice. It's nice, people. But, oh. No one thing, you know, only one thing it is short of. I'm going to show you. All purpose, Maggie. I taste everything else, but I didn't taste Maggie. All right, that is it, people. Oh, ooh. burning man, you punk. Well, turn this down. Yeah, my people, look at that. This is it, people. Look at it. So it thickens, man, which is good. It thickens right up. So, <laughs> so what I'm going to put in this next is some, I'll show you guys. These are soup based mix and this is broccoli. Okay? to show you it's, this is broccoli right? So you have broccoli soup mix. You don't want too much because as you see my soup is already ready, but I like to put broccoli in it. And you know just a little bit, not much broccoli. This now is mushroom. So what they did is, it's mushroom. What they did is, they dry these broccoli and mushroom and then, you know, great, I mean, I think they blend it up so it's fine, fine in powder. So when they do that, more easier to use in soup or whatever right so which is good you know if you just want a cup of soup broccoli soup this is broccoli soup mix 
Hmm? And it's just broccoli, really. There's no whatever you think is in it. Turn this down, get my spoon, stir it, yeah. it's a time, see? food in like the soup, it's nice and thick and you know, good. Not too thick, but thick enough. I just gotta make it real cold, so I want it to cool down so I can taste it. and that ghost pepper Ooh. it come true you know people I always show people you know I always show you what ghost pepper is right this is ghost pepper yeah? this pepper need to be reckoned with it, it pack with flavors See? Lots of flavors. Well, you only need one. See? You only need one, my people. See? You only need one of those pepper. So this, make it close, turn it down, and just make it go and do its thing. And if you don't want your soup thick like that, just add some more water in it. You know, but usually, if you want sip, then you would have water in it to make it loosen it up and you can sip it. But in my case, I want soup. I want the food in it. Then the fish already boiled out. The fish boiled right out. You only get the fish in the flavors. Then you mean buck up on a little piece of fish, but the fish, you know, evaporate in the soup, which is good. So it's good to make a sip. If you didn't put all this food, and if you want to make a sip of this food, then you know you just get out one of those machines and just blend everything up and just you know everything grind up, then you turn it in back into a sip. But we need food. Yeah, so that is it my people. Now I'm just waiting to show you the, the shearing part out. Yeah. You gotta make sure you guys see that. Ah. 
Yeah. Get my sweet plate ready. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Not to make it official washes. Spoon is ready too. Turn it down to three. And at the same time, my people, you know, you know, every time I'm cooking, I gotta have a beer, you know, cold for the fire, right? Eight percent, strong beer. See my people. people cold 45 That's where you gotta turn the stove down. Okay. So when you put in food, flour, and coconut milk, the fire is too high, it will start to stick. Yeah. And then the flour will start to stick. So you don't want that, so you turn the stove down. Once you get in everything and it's boiled for about 20 minutes, after 20 minutes, turn it right down. Turn it down to three. And everything will cook on time. Not in is. Nothing cooking is. Everything burnt. Or overcooked. Yeah, boy. This is a time stick. Look at the soup and watch this. People, nice and thick. Okay. The soup is good, man. Really good. The pumpkin, the pepper, the thyme, okay. basil, parsley, okay. Maggie. Okay. I want to say big up to Maggie, man. Maggie, they're good, trust me. And they have a whole lot more product. But to get that, you have to harder it online from back home because I don't see much of it here, you know? And I don't know why, why not, why not? Because this is here. I get this here in Walmart or in the Caribbean store. But even when I go to the Caribbean store, I cannot get the rest of it because it's only sell in Jamaica or England. Mm -hmm. Food in Jamaica will more reach England faster than it reach America or Canada. 
because Jamaicans, you know, between England, Poland, you know, you know, with the chestnut, with Jamaican then, really. So this is almost done. I'm going to leave it for a couple more minutes. Okay. And if you're not sure of your food, I don't check my food. I know when it cook. To show you when it cook, I uh, mustn't have no problem to go and chew it. You just go through, nice and easy. Potato, same thing. Okay. So you know when it cook. Okay. I mean, carrot, same thing. Well, you know, um, cucumber always, always good. You know? Cucumber, okay. sweet potato, see, slide out. Yeah, people. Irish potato. Lemon. Food, nice people. Friday night soup. See my people? Friday night soup. So, so we we'll give this about uh, on a nice low temperature. Ten minutes. We'll take it off. If that much. Okay. I want you guys to see when I dish it out, what's it look like in the plate before I consume it. Then so please people i'm looking to grow my channel so i'm asking for your help you know subscribe share like tell a friend to tell a friend leave a comment say tell me what you think uh what you want to see me try to cook because there's no food on earth i cannot cook you know i don't eat all of them but i can cook them and when i was a kid i used to eat them but i grew up now once you grow and reach a certain stage in life you got to cut back from all that red meat. You got to take your time and cut back. It's in your best stress, best interest, and best health. So all that red meat now is for the younger generation who need to build up them this much, this system. They need that red meat. Trust me, they do. Just like when we need it. But now, we're over 30. You got to change your diet. See? And Vancouver, BC, Canada, it's one of the most places I see them, they, they push that to the limit. Anywhere in Vancouver, man, everybody is like a trend. In Ontario, they don't care that much. You know, some of them care, some of them. And you can see the ones that care, you can count them on your hand. But in BC, Vancouver, New Westminster with the Langley, you know, Vancouver Island, Nanaimo, everybody push this healthy eating. Hmm? So maybe that's where I get it from. But I start to recognize my body start to reject, you know, meat. So I just I stop, right? So I just stick with fish and chicken, soup, rice, once every two months. If that, you know, it could be more. And so everything is vegetable soup, ground food. I'm saying anything for the wood health. Vancouver, British Columbia, pushing that man. They're pushing it. They were talking about it, you know, on the radio, you know, said they noticed a trend, especially in the Christmas season. People start, people are eating 10 times healthier than before. You know, so, and the younger generation will get on board and realize if they want to stay looking healthy and young and keep out of the hospital, you gotta eat and lots of ground provisions. So like this soup, this is fish soup. Everything healthy about this. Okay. Check it out. Okay. You have fish, pumpkin, carrot, um, um, carrot, sweet potato, Irish potato, plantain, okay. everything is celery, parsley, basil, you know, thyme, ghost pepper, even the pepper is good for you. Okay? 
ginger. Everything is there. Everything is here, my people. So this is what I'm pushing okay, for everybody. But give me a talent and see if I can do it. I see that. I cook anything and everything. My mama taught me that. You know? My mama always tell me, use your hand to make fashion. You know? uh, use your hand and turn it into fashion. That's what I do every time. Hello, people. Coming down to the minute. Let me see what time is it. All right, about seven minutes. Yeah, about seven minutes, and then you know, we can take it off. So we can turn off the fire. So nice and thick, it's okay. No. Yeah, man, this soup is nice. And then I need a cup to pick it up. No, I need a soup cup. This is my soup cup. When you ready? Yeah. people where's the people think it ready mm -hmm. I'll dish it out and then I'll bring it closer mm -hmm. so all said and done soup of the day pumpkin soup mm -hmm. It's gonna get hot. It's gonna get hot. Potato. All right. Whoa. Ooh. Almost fall off my hand. All right. Look at that. This is my soup cup. I can stay right here. I'll fix that in a minute. Stretch the soup no more. I stretch it. I can get soup out of it tomorrow. Just throw some more water in it. And just make it do its thing. 
you'll come back real thick. But to get more of it, look at that, see? It's like it never missed nothing. So, still. All right, my people, let me bring you, let me bring you, bring you up close to my, you know, my session of cooking. All right, my people, so, welcome to my pumpkin soup, as you can see, finished product, dish out, ready to eat, consume, and let me show you in the pot, there is a, that's a thyme stick. So you have sweet potato, then cucumber, carrot, Irish potato, then cocoa, then cocoa is something like yam, but you know it's different. And so everything is in it, my people. Celery, you know, parsley, basil, um, ghost pepper, which is habanero pepper family. See? And then Good old Maggie, okay? Maggie been around for years, man, decades. And them improve on their seasoning every time. So, all right, my people, and that is it. Okay? So please like, share, and subscribe to Rupert Flint TV. Until next time, people, okay? One love, okay? Bless up. See, look at that.